Yes, it's right! Your children, your very lives. And with the ritual complete, I was free from my dick. Not only was she weak, but she was too good hearted for me. I, I pretty much couldn't convince her to do anything, unless it had to do with fucking humping some fuzzy man-beast. So I severed myself completely from my dick and set out to find somebody with, uh, more ambiguous morality. You know, kind of like you assholes. What, you saying that we're not moral? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's really offensive. That's super offensive. What are you saying? I I'm just gonna say I barely had to do anything and you guys turned out to be complete psychos. You blasted your kid off of the roof and then turned him into a zombie so that your wife wouldn't get mad. That's kind of fucked. And I, I didn't even tell you to do that. You just did that on your own, man. Yeah, you know, everybody makes mistakes, okay? Yeah, and, and you, Foon, you were perfectly content with fucking a corpse in a cave for the rest of your life. Well, you know, love makes you do weird things, okay? Yeah, the point is I needed to find somebody just as shitty as you. And, of course, that ended up being Soggy Balls. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's something that really doesn't make sense. What, you mean like you found some sort of plot hole? Yeah, yeah, huge plot hole. Okay. Like, why did you let Soggy Balls become friends with that General Burnsides? Oh, you mean like, cause like, uh, I already knew that, that, that my dick was a goody two-shoes? Yeah, and... yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, why would you let that happen? Okay, fair question, fair question. But uh, you know that, that's not a that's not really a plot hole because the, the 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 explanation is that I saw it as another opportunity to fuck with her head and break her heart again because I knew that she was just gonna probably fall in love with soggy balls and then he would reciprocate and then you know could break her pitiful little heart one last time. So yeah, it was me being a total dick. Make sense? Oh yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it was just like a sort of a like torture her endlessly kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. You buy it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, that sounds like something I'd do. All right, well, uh, um, any more questions, uh, plot holes you want filled? Um, anything like that? Um, hmm. Uh, I don't, I don't think I have anything. Do you have any? No, no, no. I can't think of anything. Nope. Nope, go ahead. You can, uh, you can end our lives now. Thank you. Okay, all right. Well, um, uh, I've decided that I'm actually not going to kill you two. Um, can I, can I just make sure I heard you correctly? Did you say you're not going to kill us? No, 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 no. See, the thing is, I thought I would have needed to kill you guys so I could, like, absorb your powers and stuff, but turns out I'm powerful enough already, and I think I would rather just destroy everyone but you two, and then kind of keep you around for all eternity, constantly torturing you with long, boring stories that never fucking end. Doesn't that sound great? No. No, that's really... Yeah, let's do that instead. <laughs> no! No! Oh, God, no! No! Oh! 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 Help! Someone! Oh! Hey, guys. <gasps> soggy balls? No. I am Soggy the White. Uh, what the hell does that mean? This is impossible! I- I saw you die! I've been reborn. General Burnside, that cute little fella, sacrificed himself to bring me back. That's not possible! That pitiful thing?! She's not powerful enough to bring you back from the dead! Not unless she... used... the heart of the gods! I believe that you mean he what? used the heart of the gods. No, it's a she, you idiot! Yep, yep, she was definitely female. Do not make fun of my friend who sacrificed himself for I'm me. I'm not making fun! She was totally a chick! Just lift up her fucking panties and take a look! It's been a she this whole time! 
I am Soggy the White, and your evil ends now. Fine! I can take all of you! I am invincible! I will not be so easily killed this time, scum. I will defeat you using my new white powers. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Soggy, uh, I don't think you're going to want to call him that. Yeah, no, dude. You you should really not say that. Oh, okay. Um, The power of the white. Oh. Ooh. Whoops. Oh. Uh, Listen, man, hmm. I'm pure evil, and even I get uncomfortable when you say it like that. <sighs> okay, fine. I am Soggy, the much more powerful than I used to be, as indicated by a striking visual change and a non-offensive new nickname. Better? Oh yeah, I love that. <sighs> oh, that's gonna look good on a t-shirt. It doesn't matter what you call yourself, Soggy. I'm gonna destroy you and everything else around me. Witness the power of a fully armed and operational Emery clown body! What? Huh? Anime reaction? Oh no! Not White Run! Stop this! Stop! Now! I command it! You can't tell me what to do, Soggy! You never could! I was the one pulling the strings! Now watch me as all your favorite places burn! Crotch Foon! We must band together and stop him! Man, there's not much I can do. I could try to, like, take off some clothes and distract him or something. Oh, I got the perfect plan. You come over here and you fucking punch my face off and kill me, and then I don't have to give a shit what happens because I'll finally be dead. Wait, that's brilliant, yes! If we can't stop him from killing everyone, then we need to bring him somewhere where everyone's already dead! I thought I was supposed to be distracting him. Okay, to do the spell, you have to repeat after uh, me. Uh, wait, you guys, can you help me put my armor back on first? Mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho. Mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney. Wait, what? Mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho. Mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho. Mecha lecha hi, mecha chani ho. Mecha lecha hi, mecha chani ho. Mola lecha hi, chaka la mola loo. Mecha lecha blah 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 blah. Sun and stars, hear my refrain. Transport us to a different plane. This isn't how magic works. Well, how do you know? I'm the archmage, bitch. Hey, I was in the middle of something. What the? What is this? Oh my god, why did that work? And where are we? Holy shit, I know where this is. We're in the Soul Cairn. My ex-girlfriend's mom lives down here. The Soul Cairn? This is some bullshit. Yes, the Soul Cairn. Where you can't kill anything because it's already dead. Okay, that is the last time you assholes ruined my plans. Uh, you know what I said about not killing you? I'm changing my mind. You guys are dead. This ends now.
I'm out of potions. I can't heal myself anymore. Come on, man. Do something. I thought you were powerful. What, what? What's happening? I am powerful, but I cannot destroy him alone. I need your help. You guys are worthless. I've had mild colds that were harder to fight off than you. Oh, God. He's too powerful. This is pointless. I'm just gonna let him kill me. Yeah, I mean, like, what is the point in defeating him? Get your shit together, you two. I cannot defeat him alone. I don't have Astrid anymore. Fuck this. Seriously, Soggy, we don't really have anything to live for, so this is dumb. We're just gonna let him kill us, okay? No, you mustn't. Uh, yo, guys, quick question. Would you rather be burned, beheaded, or eaten alive? Mecha Lecha High, Mecha Force Field Ho. Ooh, a force field? How scary. There. This will only give us a few seconds, but at least we'll have time to think. Ah, oh, finally, a bit of privacy. Your negativity and your hopelessness are weakening us. He feeds on it. Find something to live for, or we're doomed. No, Soggy. I'm sorry, but I don't want to do this anymore. Let us go. It's over. We're done. See, Soggy Balls? This is the end, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Seriously? You sure about this? It's a pretty shitty way to go out, guys. Well, you know what, Soggy? Sometimes it's better to rush and get a shitty ending than to take your time with it and make it good, okay? No, Crotch, it's not. Hi, everybody. I'm the Ancient Traveler. You don't know me, but I'm a friend. Hey, new guy, why don't you get over here? My hand's getting tired. <gasps> this magic circle, it's healing us. Good thing we didn't give up, right, friends? Speaking of friends... Runa? Ysolda? Zombie Mega Atror? Oh my god, even Spanky is here! Astrid, is that you? And, and, and other people? But mostly Astrid? Ayala, and all my friends are the companions. I bet you don't even recognize me. I'm much whiter than I used to be. But wait a minute, all these people are dead. Ancient Traveler, how is this possible? There's no time! Your force field, Soggy. It, it... Uh oh. Thanks, Ancient Traveler. All that bullshit brought me enough time to break free! And look, you brought way more people for me to kill! And, and there are people that you guys care about! Wow! You really are stupid! I'm the only one who kills Atrior, goddammit. Let's do this! I don't know how you got Astrid here, Ancient Traveler, but I suddenly feel motivated to live. There's no way we're gonna let you kill our friends and family. Well, I have friends too, and my friends can beat up your friends. Look, there's Stu, there's Chad, there's Harvey. They all have rich backstories. Uh, take this guy, George. He's married with six children. He spends his weekends kayaking. He's written four best-selling novels. You're just making that up. You don't have any friends. Well, they're more like mindless servants, but they come to my birthday parties. So I consider them friends. Get them, friends! be destroyed. If he can't be destroyed, there's no way to stop him. Wait a second. What if we don't have to destroy him? What if we just have to stop him? Soggy, do you have Soul Trap? I'm Soggy the White. Of course I have Soul Trap. But there's no Soul Gem big enough to trap him. Everyone, listen. Focus on getting him up there. Just a little bit further. Soggy, now! Make a like a high, make a trap a ho! And, and, and Cock is dead? That means I'm a free man! <laughs> I won't have to suck any more dragon dick again, ever! Oh, gods be praised! What? Oh no. It is I, Parthenax. Oh, oh, hello, Parthenax. 
Well met, Brad the Bard. I see you yet live, Oskay Guadalajara. Yes, I, I was buried for, I don't know, maybe four days? I'm not sure. And what of Cock? Oh, you don't know, do you? Cock is dead! <laughs> Woo! Dead? Hmm. Soggy sucked his head right off the neck part. And now, I am a free man. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, well, Brad, wait. About that. What about it? Um, Cock and I actually had a little deal. I was getting Mark law. What kind of deal? I think I'll just crawl back into the rubble. Stop whining and start sucking. I hate being a bar. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Guys, I was just climbing around. Get it? <laughs> I can't believe it. It worked. Guys, you can let me out now. P please. H how did you know that was going to work? Well, that thing kind of looks like a big soul gem. So I was like, I don't know. Fuck it. Luckily, it worked. And now the ideal masters will feed on his soul for thousands of years until eventually he becomes nothing. That's pretty cool. You guys are really overreacting. Shut up, man. We're done with you, okay? No, I, I promise no more puns ever, I swear. Bye-bye. No! <laughs> okay, everybody. Line up at the portals. It's time to send you back to your proper timeline. Timeline? Wait, are, are you a time traveler? Yeah. Ancient traveler is actually short for ancient time traveler. I just don't have it in my name because I don't want it to be a dead giveaway. I like a little bit of mystery, you know? Wait, what about all the people that died here? Isn't that gonna screw up their timeline? Nope, you see, the trick is you take them out of their timeline right before they would have died. Oh, so like, if they die, it doesn't matter because they were gonna die anyway. Wait, so does that mean as soon as they walk back through those portals, they're gonna die? Oh yeah, they're gonna die horrible, horrible deaths. You know, to maintain the timeline. But they are gonna get a lifetime supply of free sweet rolls. Free sweet rolls, what? Like, for example, Teldrin. He was flying through the air for a good, like, 60 seconds before he plummeted to his death. So I grabbed him in midair, saved him, said, Hey, do you want a free lifetime supply of sweet rolls? All you gotta do is come with me through this portal and fight a battle. Of course, they all said yes. Now I'm gonna set them right back in their timeline right before they die, and they won't be able to screw anything up. That's fucked up. All right, everybody, follow me for your lifetime supply of sweet rolls. Right through the portal. There you go. Yep. So many sweet rolls waiting for you on the other side. And so Crotch, Foon, and Soggy said goodbye to their loved ones as the mysterious ancient traveler herded them off to their proper timelines. Sweet roll payments paid in full. The remaining three, their long, insane, generally psychopathic journey finally over, wondered, what do we do now? Well, I, the narrator, will tell you exactly what they did. It's going to be great. Okay, now, where's that model of Hennessy? I'm going to need it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> they said goodbye to each other for the very last time and went their separate ways. Soggy the White was much calmer now, less prone to drug-induced fits of rage. He returned to Whiterun and became a blacksmith for the companions. One day, as Soggy hammered out a new sword that he would no doubt dedicate to a fan who supported this series, an unexpected visitor arrived. Jezargo sees what you are up to. Yes, I'm making a sword for a fan. This is what I do now. What does he do? Tempering the steel tempers my soul so I can forge myself a better life. It must be powerful. It is powerful. Standing here and pounding on metal for 10 hours a day has made me a better person. It's also given me a lot of back problems, unfortunately, but it's worth it. You think it could help make me a powerful mage? I don't fucking know. That, that's not the point I'm making here. So you're one of those magical clones Jizargo created, right? You're not the real Jizargo. What? Do you even know where the original Jizargo is? Uh... Do you even know if he's alive? No. No idea. Maybe Tolfdir knows. He seems to know a lot. Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? You know, Jazargo, you've asked me that question many times throughout the years. And now I finally understand that the answer to that question doesn't matter. 
I don't need to prove myself to you. I don't need to prove myself to anybody. My accomplishments don't define who I am. Maybe you should stop trying to measure your own self-worth by how powerful you are. And no, I haven't mastered them. They're, they're far too difficult. This is most disappointing. But Jazargo is pleased to see that you are here. Jazargo likes you. But what about Crotch? Crotch Guzzler was a changed man after everything he had been through. He returned to a familiar place, now a totally burnt, ruined shithole, and reminder that he was, and maybe still is, a violent lunatic. In any case, let's see what happens. Ancient Traveler! <laughs> what a twist! <coughs> oh, shit! <coughs> Crotch headed off into the future, or the past, or something on Shadowmere, ostensibly to do good things to make up for his mistakes. Gonna have to do a lot of good things. Holy shit! And finally, we come back to where it all started, with Tits. Foon Tits. Foon had returned to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and had done some serious remodeling. She'd also grabbed the Heart of the Gods and the Leg of Goat Roast containing Astrid's soul. Using the baby that Cock had impregnated into the drug addict Freya back in whatever episode that was, Foon was able to repeat the ritual General Burnside had used to return Soggy to life. Thus, Astrid was reborn in her original form. That makes sense, right? <coughs> oh, and uh, Freya died, but it didn't really matter. Well, that's all for me. I'll leave these two lovebirds alone. Whew! What a story. Astrid, it's really you. After all this time, I've waited for so long, and now finally, my dream is totally coming true. Me, and you, forever. Sister? No!